Good morning everyone. Welcome to Friday and to a new weekend vlog. So what's going on this weekend? Well, pretty much like many of the other weekends lately, not an awful lot. But first, can I address, I did shower last night and take my makeup off, but obviously not very well because I've still got mascara that has bled during the night, which must have been in my lashes, under my eye. So just about to cleanse my face. I'm going in with this, nearly all gone now, this one. Really enjoyed using it. The micellar water with the, um, it's with the rose and it's got a little bit of the oil in it. Um, and yeah, I was saying, not a lot. I mean, I know we've got Halloween coming up um, tomorrow, Saturday. Um, but myself and Chris, we'll probably just shut ourselves away because I've bought things in preparation for maybe if some kids knock the door, you know, but um, I don't know. I know um, my Hannah, my daughter Hannah, she has said, oh, mum's all right if me and Lennox come and that's her little boy, he's only five, Len. And this is like the first one that he's really understood. So all right if we come round and do just trick or treat on you sort of thing so that he feels that he's done something. So I said, yeah, of course, you know, so I've got some sweeties in for him to do it. Um, but today, being Friday, I'm going off to my other daughter, Holly, going to her house. She's got her own beauty salon and she's going to do my nails for me today. So going to get those down. I'll show you what they're like once they've been done and... Um, I said hello to all our animals, my little grand guineas, grand dogs, grand rats. <laughs> um, she sent me a picture yesterday to say that she's got two new rats coming next week, I think. She loves her rats. She's always loved her rats. They are really beautiful, though, hers. Um, but I'll see the guinea pigs again today and the dogs. And, of course... Um, the two, the three rats that she's got. She's got, she's still got the two boys and then um, she's only got one girl because one of them um, was really poorly and had to be like, she was at end of life. So the vet just, you know, obviously helped her with that because she was struggling. That was about, about a week and a half ago now, I suppose. Um, so she's got two new females come in that's to keep the other female that she had already company because now she's lost her little sister and they are very, very sociable animals. I didn't tell you what I'm using, did I? I'm using, um, this, I'm nearly at the end of this one as well, actually. This is from Lacura from Aldi and this is the Healthy Glow Rose Toner. And this is what I'm loving a lot at the moment. Um, and it's by L'Oreal and it's the Hydrogenous. Um, oh, I can't see what it says. I use it all the flipping time as well, but my eyesight is terrible. Um, but it's it's like an aloe water. Look, nearly at the end of that. Been ever so good lately. I'm using everything up. Right, so I've got an um, eye cream. This came in one of my glossy boxes that I've recently done. Um, that I think has gone live this morning actually. So I can link that video up here, here, along the top anyway, for you. If you want to go and have a look at that. I'm gonna pop my little brows, do my brows. She'll probably inspect my face for Nanny McPhee's, you know, the little hairs. I can feel one there. I'll get that before I go. Shall I put on? I think I'm just going to go with a little bit of, where's this one from? I think this was in the glossy box as well. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of that. And if I close my lid and draw it again, it goes onto the um, the 
like the what do you call it the waterline at the top lip I'm just gonna go like that oh tickles there you go it's at the top so that's like a really easy way of doing it because I feel that when you get older you you need to fill that waterline in for some reason um it just seems to look bigger as you get older that waterline um I'll pop a little bit of concealer literally on that age spot I've got there this mark on my nose that I get from my glasses um I've got a massive big age spot there Oh, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. <laughs> um, I'll just put a little bit there, down my old lady lines. And there and there. And there and there. That's worked out to be more than I thought it was going to be. And then I'm just going to go in with, I'm going to go in with a light colour now, just on my, on my lid. Able to, I'm going to go back to doing a lot of my vintage looks that I always used to do on my channel. Um, but trying to get my hand into the position for my arm, um, for my, to do my hair is like, you know, not easy at the minute. So just highlight that a little bit, just lift it. That's as much as I'm going for with the shadow. The Scara, good old Primark one. bronzer tiny little bit of that love this stuff just warms the face up a little bit in the winter and does the same in the summer and then a quick bit of lippy from again glossy box i'm really enjoying this one it's so pretty Go downstairs, have breakfast, coffee, and um, ugh, be on the way. And that'll do, that'll do for today, it's fine. Um, okay, you ready for update on the scar? So there you go, from there. All the way down to, hold on, and beyond. <laughs> There's the end of it, it's sort of in there somewhere. Just past the elbow. How good is it? How good? I'm just, you know, it's amazing. I just can't believe how good it is. Um, I have been put, well, I've only put it on once, the Prologene Gel from Declio. I've showed it to you before. So if you've got stretch marks and you've still got like colour to them, they're not white, they, it really helps to, to fade the scar. I've only put it on once. Oh, I'll just pop you there so that you can see. 
So it is literally just a sort of a bluey tingy gel like that. And I have been literally, well, I say have been, this is only my second time of doing it because I wanted to make sure it was okay, you know, completely, completely healed, obviously, before I put it on. Um, and just after the first application, I've got to admit, I noticed a huge difference because it's just incredible, amazing stuff. It's good for scars, um, acne scars, if you've got any of those, it's brilliant. So I'm gonna keep doing that to see how it goes and I'll kind of like feed back on that for you. That's it, today, I'm not doing any more. So, I will catch up with you at some point today, show you my nails, oh, that was a little bit close on that. Um, show you my nails, oh, move your hand away from the lenses there. Yeah? That's better, let's make me a bit more professional. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll talk to you a bit later on. Bye my lovelies. Okay, so we're on our way home now. So I went to Holly's, had my nails done. Um, I will insert some photos for you, but try to show you, although I'm in the car, bouncing about a bit. Um, but I will pop some photographs in for you. And I said to her, just, you know what, you just have a free hand and do what you want because she's done so many French manicures lately that she wanted to be a little bit more artistic today. And so she said her inspiration today was like a modern, it was like a modern autumnal inspirational collage type of a thing i've got the glow on me from the car in front that looked quite nice actually um then from there we went into haskins garden center so i have included in here some footage as we went around the garden center some of the lovely christmasy bits that are out now look at all the lights shining on
yesterday morning. Um, I've just had my flu jab, which is quite late for me, to be honest, but with everything going on, you know, with hospital and everything. Anyway, I've just had it. It's absolutely raining cats and dogs and... Mice and men. Mice and men and gorillas and the ark and everything. Stair rods. Yep, everything. Um, anyway, so we're just going to go in to, whoops, Daisy, um, sorry if I jog you a little bit. Um, we're just going to go up the road to the shops. I want to pop into Iceland to see if they've got, they've got like a Grim Reaper type of a pizza. Um, we thought we might try that for tonight, just a little bit of a, you know, a Halloween-y type of thing. And um, we're going to go into Home Bargains and we're also going to pop into Lidl's. So if I'm successful with bits and bobs, I'll show you when I get back home. Yeah, hi guys. So we're home now. So in Lidl's we picked up um, a six pack of Diet Lemonade. Excuse all this stuff over here. We're having a little bit of a, well, I'm trying to sort my pantry out, so I'm kind of getting bits and bobs out. And you know what it's like, you have to make chaos before you can make it all nice and tidy again. Also from the doors, we picked up this. Now it's actually a bathroom shower rack, but I thought it would work really well in our kitchen to use as a spice rack. So I'll show you that once it's actually done. Um, picked up one of these, just one of these little easy, yeah, one of these easy, already done, lasagnas, um, some pineapple chunks, a pack of the all butter mince pies, so we have a packet of the little ones, now we have a packet of the Aldi ones already, so we're going to do a little comparison between the two. Um of these for the candles and the last thing from Lidl's was this pack of the uh, cooked ham trimmings okay then we popped it into Iceland and in Iceland this is what we went in for um, this is the wood fired stone baked pizza and it's even hotter scary <laughs> spicy it has how many peppers it has well it has extreme warning all over it as you can see so it is supposed to be extremely hot so i'm going to give this a go tonight um, we also picked up these these are from the um, tgi friday range and they're the boneless chicken wings again they're the hot and spicy ones and then some of the tgi friday wings um, but these are the barbecue ones picked up a classic christmas pudding um that's just going to be popped away the one that i normally get i really like the littles one but if I'm not making my own, I will buy the Lidl's one, but they haven't got that one in yet. So I have bought this one just to pop away. Um, some Law coffee, haven't bought that for a while, but I couldn't see the coffee that I wanted. And I bought a crackling pork joint for tomorrow. Some cauliflower cheese, so I don't have to make it. Um, a pack of the Warburton's muffins to go with these. These are the little sausage breakfast patties so that you can have like your own Mackey D's. A box of the 12 large free range eggs. So that's everything that I actually got in um, Iceland. The Sammy went into Home Bargains and in Home Bargains we picked up these. It's a pack of the white chocolate magnums and the um, dark milk chocolate Magnums, two packs of the um, tea lights, both of these are eight hour. Um, I've already said that we're trying to sort the pantry out, we want to label everything. So we bought one of these Dynamo, um, what are they called, label makers. Um, two packs of the fat balls for the birds, some of the, the pink stuff. Um, stain remover and another elbow grease scourer. Um, picked up two of these. These are really, really nice and they feel really heavy. They're a lovely glass. Um, so two of the cut glass 
highball glasses. These were 99p each. So just picked up two of these for now. Um, some air fresheners. So we've got like more wintry fragrances there. So we've got the oud and the cozy, cozy apple and cinnamon. Um, we both needed new water bottles. So we've got one of those each. Um, I found some of the Nest Cafe Gold in Home Bargain, so I picked that up as well. Then over here I've got some of the Flash with um, the Bicarb, which is absolutely brilliant. And then here, I haven't actually seen these before, or given these to our dogs before, but they're the dentist sticks, but they're like the little, you see what they're like? They're like little chewy chunky things. Um, we needed some more bulbs for the kitchen, dining room, I think that's for, I'm not sure, I think that's for the dining room. Um, a refill thing for this Lenore grease releaser, um, a pack of tennis balls for the dogs, and a new toy each for the dogs. And they're going to come running, I know, when they hear the noise. Oh, here she comes. Take out the cardboard. Oh, it's Ted Ted. You got a new baby? Hold on, where's your squeaky bun? You both got new babies. Hold on. Are you ready? Who wants their babies? Come over here. Come over here. So, which one do you want? Do you want the orange one? Got the orange baby. Take it then. Take it. Oh, you're giving it kisses. Come on, there's yours. No, this is Teddy's. This is Teddy's one. Go, you've got one knee. You should have to play with one. I mean, look, look at the state of that one. It's just like, just like a skin. <laughs> there's no innards to it anymore. Teddy, you got yours? You got yours? Go get the other one, Elsie. Yours. Go and get yours out there. Look, there's yours. Go on, both of you, get your own. That's it. Yay! Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday morning, and I'm starting to clear a bit of room on the table. Uh, I'm going to sort my pantry out. It is a mess. The amount of times I sort it out, and yet I'm never happy with it. So. I don't know, it just always seems to go back into a mess again. So I'm going to take you over to the pantry, show you what I'm dealing with. And today we're going to get everything out onto the table, not the food, all the crockery and stuff, so that I can see what I can store in the garage. Oh, Elsie's on one, <laughs> running around. What I can store, possibly in the garage, that I don't use often. Um, oh, there she goes. And just, uh, I just really need to reorganise it. I'm normally such an organised person, but I don't know, I've just let this one slip. Anyway, I'll show you what I'm dealing with, apart from that. There she goes. Come on then. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready for it? Oh, so, because we've, we're not happy, with it, we've just bunged stuff in and I cannot stand living unorganized at all. Now the thing is with this kitchen, when we have this kitchen put in, I didn't think that I would need any more cupboard space for things like saucepans and that. I thought I'd be able to get everything in here, which I can if it's crammed in and you know, from time to time I do, I sort it all out and think, yep, I like it like that. And then I don't really, so it just goes back to being, I mean, I've got dog food at the bottom when actually over there I've got a cupboard I could probably get all my dog food in if I sorted it properly. So I'm going to start by getting out like jugs, dishes, stuff like this stuff um i've up there medicines and sharps 
thingy, Sharps box that has to stay up out of the way. Um, that's because I have to inject every week, so that has to be out of the way of any sort of grandchildren. Um, but I'm going to start just removing the crockery for now. <laughs> This weight on my shoulders is slowing me down. I don't know how it came about. And while the world is spinning faster every night, I feel I'm stuck in reverse somehow. But it ain't no one's fault that I am stuck here. No one to blame. Okay, so a little bit of a progress here. So, all sorted. So up the top there, I've got things up there that I don't use very often. Here I've got like dry goods, like cereals, crisps, pasta, baking stuff. Um, here I've got things like other dry things like noodles, gravy, um, stock pots, custard, that sort of thing, biscuits, crackers. And I've just moved the dishes to here. Saucepans are here. And these are the dishes that I use more often here at the bottom. Excuse me for all these hoovering now. Then at the bottom here, I've got some vegetables and things like liners for baking trays, chopping boards, then the slow cooker and the liquidizer, um, condiments there. Some tinned food there. We do have a store cupboard in the garage as well, so that's why it doesn't look like there's a lot of tinned stuff there. Um, but I do need to bring a few bits in. There's some more sort of dry good cookery stuff there. And the eggs. Um, down here, we've sorted out the, like all the drink bottles, trays, and I've moved, or we, I should say, have moved, like all the baking tins and the cooling racks, you can put mess all over the floor once you start doing this sort of thing, cleaning shelves, it always creates a mess. And then on the top, here on the right the top, we've put the air fryer, um, just with the utensils there. Still got all this to sort out. Well, it's only clearing up now, really. Um, the spice rack is up, so, yeah, that's all done, all on the wall and up, so nice and neat. Um, this cupboard here, I had all my baking, like Victoria sandwich tins and um, all that sort of stuff up on the top shelf. I couldn't reach it, which is why it's been moved. So we've got a shelf to move like some of this about. And then over here, I've got things like the self-raisin flour, plain flour, pastas, um, rice, some sort of biscuits and sweets, and then behind there, some other dried goods. Um, and we've got the label maker, so once Chris starts doing the labels on the label maker, that self-raisin sticker will come off and the new one will go on. But I put it there because obviously I didn't want to mix up the plain from the self-raisin before a label went on, so I just did that for now. Um, this slot here, this slot here, and over here, and some more bits in the garage, are going to be offered to Hannah to see if she wants, um, if she could use any of it. Um, Amazon's just been delivered my new planner. So I've got my new diary, new planner for 2021. So when I start looking at that and start filling it in, I'll show you what that's like. A few more bits over here to sort out. I need to put this away. This is an old fashioned um, butter cheese dish. Old tennis balls for the dogs, but they're not going to see them right now. Um, this is going to Hannah. I just need to pull the lid out, it's upside down, but um, Hannah has already said that she wanted that. That's for my candle making and that is my new sieve for my flour, which I need to put away. And so we are one hot, sweaty mess. We've been at this for hours. You can appreciate how long it takes to do it. Um, we haven't had anything since breakfast, so we're going to sit and have probably a quick sandwich or something now. Um, 
yeah and then go and get a shower because we're both one hot sweaty mess and then it does need hoovering it does all need wiping down work tops but i might leave that until tomorrow morning but i'm going to end this vlog here i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give me a nice big thumbs up um subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and i will see you all in the next video but don't forget to press the notification bell and then you will know when i've done all my new uploads so for me uh, mr sparkle uh, yeah uh, mr sparkle See you later. Bye. Take Bye. care, everyone. Bye. Bye.